to explain how to use the integration between Google Groups and our drag boards, which is very helpful for teams that collaborate on emails but not on real shared email addresses and real um, G Suite accounts with login and password, but instead using a Google Group to set up a distribution list for email such as uh, support at or sales at. So you do can integrate these groups into the direct boards and make them uh, real time and collaborative exactly like a shared inbox. So let me show you how. So first to add a board, you can either click on this plus button here or click on the other uh, red button on the bottom right of your screen. Um, all right, we have three kind of boards. You can be empty, shared inbox, or Google Groups. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the Google Groups one. So to edit, the first two steps is to come here and then input the board name and the respective Google Group uh, email address. So let me get an example with, uh, I'm gonna add a Google Group in here and I'm gonna add our Google Group at uh, dragapp.com just for the sake of this demo. Click on create or hit enter and immediately after that you have the pop-up with already the existing members of that Google group. So we will connect to your Google group setup and your G Suite account and pull up the list of people that are part of that Google group that you're trying to add here. So in this case, we have four people. An important thing here to keep in mind is that I do can add more people here if I want. If I want to do that, just type the email address and then hit add or hit enter and these people are going to be added. And this is dissociated to your G Suite account. So I don't need to do it here and then go again on my G Suite admin panel and add those people again. So I just need to add them in the drag board and then immediately will have um, access to all of the emails sent to this Google group. Another important thing here to keep in mind is that only the Google group owners will be able to add the boards and this is simple for the permissions uh, reasons just to make sure the people with the right credentials can add the Google Groups. All right, so the next step, you add new, new people, click on add, or in my case, I'm just gonna skip this step because I have my four people here. Then let's go to the board. So you're gonna be sent to your board um, immediately. And after that, you'll notice that if I go to any other account and then I send an email to Google group at dragapp.com and I click on it, that's gonna load on that board. And all of the people, here in this board will see it coming in real time and will be able to collaborate on it normally. All right, there we go. So after an email comes in, everything that I do here, whether I'm adding a due date or adding a new tag or assigning it to someone, um, that's gonna be visible for everyone in the board. 